So today we're going to be talking about fat hamsters and if your hamster is fat. Overweight hamsters are sometimes a very big problem because owners tend to think that their hamster constantly needs food in their bowl all the time, when in actual fact you don't. So today I am lucky enough to be filming at the new location for my videos which is slowly being decorated and changed around and I will make a video of the new studio coming soon. Everything's been moved around and it looks a lot different compared to what the pet room did so this room is genuinely just for my purposes and filming and caring for the animals and everything in here is pretty much mine now. It's a lot easier for me just to come in here and just start filming and making videos as often as I want and because of that artificial lighting it means that I can do it when I'm up late at night or if I'm struggling to sleep one night which is just a typical usual for me. Also, I think the mic is working, I'm not 100% sure, but I do have a mic there and I've been trying to get it working for like two hours before I started filming this video. So yeah, hopefully the audio is a little bit better as well. Hamsters have a natural chubby looking appearance and this is because they're so fluffy and furry. Usually, not that I'm saying you should get your hamster wet, but if you ever had to see a wet rodent or even a wet cat, you would see that they genuinely are a lot thinner than what you think they are and it's scary because they literally look sometimes like skin and bone because you're used to seeing this big fluffy appearance because their fur is literally making them look bigger than what they actually are. So sometimes it can make your hamster look a lot fatter than what they actually are. Especially if you've got longer haired animals, it'll make them look a lot fatter than what they actually are. The best way to find out what weight your hamster is is to weigh them. As long as your hamster is using its wheel efficiently and it's running around its cage and you bring it out for playtime, this should generally keep its weight under control. On the other hand, some people do, as I said at the very start of the video, some people do overfill their hamster's bowl, keep their hamster's bowl constantly occupied with foods, then they're topping this up with giving them treats, and then also at the very end they're giving them like meat, cooked meat and um, vegetables and Fruits. You can tell I don't eat a lot then, it took me a while to think about that. Combinating all of that into one, it will actually make your hamster go overweight because they're just so small and their stomachs are so small so they're taking in all that saturated fat and all that extra stuff that they really don't need to be taking in. Yeah, it's going to cause your hamster to be overweight and then you're going to not have a fluff ball, you're going to have a fluff football and it's going to be rolling about the cage instead of crawling and running the way it should be. So the first question to ask yourself is, do I have a fat hamster? The easiest way to find this out is by googling what your hamster species weight should be and then going and weighing your hamster in a general normal circumstance of using kitchen scales. Kitchen scales seem to be the most easiest way for home users to actually weigh their hamsters. Rather than going out and buying an actual weighing machine for pets, you can just do this in your kitchen with using your kitchen scales. Simply get your kitchen scales out. Personally, I bought a set for just my animals alone and then you just take your animal and you just pop your animal in the scales. You can use a bowl or something to put them in, like a tub, and then zero it out and actually put the bowl on top, zero the weight of the bowl out, then weigh your animal in there. Generally, a Syrian hamster should weigh around about six to nine ounces. For Syrian hamsters, this depends on the length of the hamster itself. So the bigger the hamster, the more it's going to weigh. Pretty much like humans, because the taller people are, the more they're going to weigh because they've got more muscle mass, they've got more height to take into consideration, more bone structure. The longer your hamster is, the more it's going to weigh. So just get your kitchen scales out, compare it to what it should roughly be. If your hamster falls within that scale, they're generally healthy and it means that they're a nice weight. Anything over this will be considered overweight, anything under this will be considered underweight. Your dwarf hamsters will be a lot smaller in size, so their weight will be a lot less and for every other species of hamster, the weight guides will be generally different. So the best way for you to find that out is to do your research, Google up what your hamster weight should be, take into consideration what you found online, and then go weigh your hamster and find out if they fall within those brackets. Generally, most websites will give you like a six to nine ratio, so it will be between six to nine ounces or three to five ounces for different types of hamsters. Also a good thing to take into consideration is the age of your hamster. When they get older, they're going to have a weight loss issue. Some hamsters don't lose weight, like Mercury, he's very, very old, but he still seems to be piling on the pounds. <laughs> Some hamsters will actually go through this weight loss stage, like elderly humans will. So if your hamster is quite old, you can expect it to start losing weight. This is a normal process and it's nothing really to worry about. Generally, when my hamsters start to stop using their wheel and start to just kind of sleep around all day, I just feed them as much as I want. I leave the bowl full constantly because then that way I know they've always got food there 
And to me, this makes me feel better because I know for a fact that if they've got food there, they're going to at least eat some of it because some hamsters, when they're older, can stop eating and it can make their weight loss a lot faster. So, in their old age, I personally feel like hamsters deserve to be as comfortable as they want to be. If they want to be fat, they can be fat because they're, they're not really doing very much else with their life. So yeah, take your hamster's age into consideration when it comes to weighing them as well. The second question when you find out you've got a fat hamster is, what do you do if your hamster is overweight? Well, this is pretty easy. It's the same concept as what you would do if you were a human and you would want to lose some pounds. You would put your hamster on a strict diet, which would be a normal feeding guide for a hamster, which would be one to two teaspoons of hamster food every two to three days. And you would help them along with their exercise. So this would mean taking them out of their cage a lot more, making them like kind of run about more, exercising a lot more, maybe add extra wheels into their cage if that's possible for you because if there's more wheels in the cage there's more chance of your hamster actually using it. Give them more exercise toys in their cage, make their cage more of an obstacle course rather than just a playground if that makes sense. So they have to climb more, they have to walk more, they have to run more. Make your hamster exercise and eventually because they are so small eventually the pounds will start shedding off quite fast and you will get your hamster to the weight that it should be. After the hamster has lost the weight, you will want to keep up with the two teaspoons every two to three days. I leave my hamsters until their bowl is completely empty because filling up their bowl and recleaning their bowl when there's still food in the bowl just promotes to me picky eating. That's stuff they don't want to eat, they're not going to eat it. So if I leave it in there until it's completely empty or there's like one or two small bits of food left, then I refill the bowl. So I'll take the bowl out, clean it and refill it again. And this keeps a hamster eating all of its food, at least if it's not eating all of its food, it's storing all of its food. So that means that the food that it wouldn't normally eat or it didn't want to eat is at least in its hoard and it's going to try and get a, a little munch. Some people forget that hamsters actually hoard food, so when their food bowl is empty, that means that your hamster took all that food, put it in its hoard, and you're giving it another full bowl of food. And that means that your hamster now has two bowls of food, so once it hoards all of that, it's going to have three bowls of food. Until you clean your hamster's cage out, it's going to have all that food stashed away and you're not going to know about it unless you accidentally stumble across their hoard while you're doing spot cleaning. So when your hamster has all that food, what's it going to do? It's going to sit and snack out and it's going to put on weight and you don't want that. Because having a fatter hamster puts up the risks of heart failure and heart disease and all this fatty tissue around about their hearts and their organs and because they are so small, all these issues are so much more dangerous to hamsters. The other thing you're going to want to take into consideration is, could your hamster be pregnant? Have you recently just got your hamster and has it been a couple of weeks and it just seems to be expanding? Because sometimes accidents do happen in the pet store and when you go buy your hamster, it could have been in with a male or it could have been in with a male in the viewing room and that means that it's been caught and it's pregnant now. The best way to tell if your hamster is pregnant is to go to your vet. Your vet will do an ultrasound and this will tell you if your hamster is pregnant and it's safe. It's just as safe as a human one. After a couple of weeks, if your hamster hasn't shedded any weight at all, there's a good chance your hamster's pregnant. There's a possibility your hamster could be pregnant as well. That is the most unlikely scenario, but it is good to get it checked out. So if you do want to know, go to your vet. That's the best way for you to find out. And then if you find out that way, you can start preparing on how you're going to deal with the babies and stuff like that. And I do recommend, if that is the case for you, definitely do your research and do it as much as you can because having a lot of hamsters is not easy. Well guys, that is all I have for you today. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and yeah, we'll be back for definitely more videos. This has been one of the videos I've ever made that has been the easiest to make. It's been nice to just sit down, be able to relax, and actually see what I'm doing on the camera, <laughs> and chill out and actually make a video. This has been one of the easiest videos that I've ever made on this channel. A lot of them do take a lot of work because I have to move all my video equipment and then find a place to film and set up lighting and some of the lighting in the videos hasn't been the best but yeah room tour coming soon so stay tuned if you want to see that don't forget to hit subscribe hit the bell and that will notify you when i have uploaded that video also to help you get more notifications do hit the like button on this video because it will help you get notified because youtube will use its algorithm and see that you've been liking my videos so yeah uh, for now though, I will see you all later. Bye everyone.